Hello everyone, I'm Mike from the Masters of the Code and in today's video I will be talking about mounting Samba shares inside the change root environment for Android I've already showed you in my previous videos. As always remember to subscribe my channel so you won't miss my future videos. Also hit the like button if this video is useful to you and also check the links below that video. I give you some Amazon links for devices I use as always and the links for my previous videos. So let's get started. First, what is required to proceed with this tutorial? Of course, rooted Galaxy S series device and best option is to use Magisk for the root. Uh, BusyBox installed by Magisk module or any other way. And of course, Debian in change root already installed and see my previous video for that. What you will get after configuration, uh, you will get uh, the possibility to mount Samba shares inside the change root environment and the way to expose it outside the change root environment. So you will be able to use the Samba shares on the any application at your phone, even the applications that don't support using shares in the native way. Okay, so let's get started with the setup. As always, we will use Termux application and switch to the root account. And what we need to do is extracting the file from the SD card. You have that file also in the link below the video. So it's smbnetfs.codebase.tar.bzip2. And we should extract that file in the slash data slash local location. Now we can enter that directory, which is extracted. We can see what's inside. And we have the installation script here. So we have one parameter, the destination directory at SD card. So it's as usual, the change directory under the SD card folder and the script will just put some scripts that will give you possibility to use those CIFS shares easily later. So you will get after it's installed two new scripts under your SD card change directory or any other directory chosen during configuration. So the first script is Debian mount SMB netfs and the second one is for an unmounting. I will uh, show you later how you can customize those scripts but also the important thing uh, is we have uh, the directory under data mounts created it's sifs-shares. It will be directory used for exposing those shares from the change root environment and also that directory should be here. I've already showed you during the change root configuration in my previous videos how you can configure it. Already gave you the script for doing that. You should have it already done if not see my previous videos for that and if you have it done we can then mount our change root environment and switch inside it. And what we need is that SMB netfs package to be installed. So we will install it right now. We can also clean the packages cache after it's installed. And what's more, we will need slash SMB netfs directory uh, for mounting the shares inside the change root environment. And also we are in the root home directory. We will need to create dot SMB directory. So it's hidden directory here. We already have it. So Let's start with the fresh setup. I will remove it. We will create it once again. And then we should copy uh, slash etc smbnetfs.conf file. It's a file for the initial configuration. So we will copy it inside that newly created directory. So as you can see, it's, it's here. And now we can configure our 
smbnetfs.conf to provide some, some shares. You will probably want to put here uh, your own shares in your own network. And I will show you it with my virtual DSM Synology shares. So I will add the out option. It's the basic option here. And first parameter should be IP address or DNS name of the server. So I will put here IP of my virtual DSM, which provides the Samba shares. Second option, we should put the username here, which have uh, access to the shares and also the password for the user. So it's uh, the standard one, like in my previous videos for that. So now we will have to save it. Of course, you can also add more definitions here. So you will be able to provide more shares. Or if uh, you have shares uh, that are public shares, you don't need to pass user uh, name and password for that. Or you can just use guest option like showed here with empty password. Also remember that that file should have proper permissions for it to work. So it's 600. So only root user will have read and write permissions. It's because it has some password inside. So it's the safe way to not uh, give uh, other users access to that file. And also uh, SMB NetFS won't work uh, with other permissions. We will leave the change root environment for now. And also you should check that in the Debian mount SMB NetFS uh, script, uh, you have proper IP address or the DNS name. I've already put correct IP address here. So we will just mount with bind option the share which will be available under change root in that directory, as you can see, and we will expose it to the Android file system. So it will be mounted inside slash storage slash modes slash sifs dash shares here. Of course, you can create more directories here under storage mounts or create one parent directory here like sifs dash shares and inside some other directories if you have more shares and you can also add it here. And the second file is for unmounting it. So it's really, really simple. If you have more shares, you should also add more unmount options here. So now we can test it and execute that script. We can also check the mount and we can see that it's mounted inside the change root and also mounted with bind option and exposed to the Android uh, file system itself. And we can just try to check what is inside that directory. So it's tiffs dash shares. And we can see, ah, we have some error error here, so we will have to debug it. So let's get back to the change root and we will see that we can see the share under the change root first and operation is not permitted. So we should unmount it once again and we should get back to the change root to that SMB directory and review the configuration file. Ah, of course, uh, it's the wrong user. So we will correct the username here. We will leave the change root environment and we will try to use that mount script once again. And now we can see that it works. So we have that base uh, directory on the share I've already used in my previous videos also. And inside it, for example, we have android-linux-changeroot folder and some, some scripts I've already used in my previous videos. So it's working. But the interesting part is we can also use it uh, in any application under, under Android. So for example, ES5 Explorer. I know that we have a built-in option for that in the ES5 Explorer, but I will show you how you can access the shares using that method also. 
So you should click for internal storage, for example, and click for storage. Uh, and that way you are in the storage directory. Then you can go to mounts and to Tiff dash shares. And here you have all shares from your device. As you can see, it works. And also the interesting thing and the bonus is uh, there are some applications uh, like, for example, the BS player. The BS player has the option for using uh, Thieves modes inside, incorporated, but it uh, won't work under Android Pie. It's not fixed yet. And that way you can use the shares uh, under any Android application. So it's uh, really convenient. Of course, you can use uh, some some technique I've already used to in my previous videos. So please watch my previous videos so you will get to know how to link those scripts to your Android launcher. So you will have nice icons for mounting and unmounting those shares. Remember to subscribe my channel so you will get notified about my future videos. Also hit the like button below. See ya, bye.